heard about the uh, the story of the uh, search warrant that I, I figured, what, which investigation is this that they think they have documents? It wasn't until later, and actually in Trump's response when he said oh. Hillary Clinton got away with her emails, well, I said, uh-uh, that means he's dealing with documents that are missing and he hasn't turned in or something of that nature. So, yes, this has been in months in development. You've got a, an agency that's very protective of its documents and wants them and wants to. This is a perfect example to make a point that not even a former president can walk off with classified documents. If you recall, uh, Sandy Berger, who was Bill Clinton's national security advisor, went out and tried to take some documents from the National Archives. And he got a, he didn't go to jail for it, but he got a, uh, he got a heavy fine. Uh, the judge fined him $50,000 and uh, really scolded him uh, because it was a stupid thing he did. So this is something that is aggressively pursued. It appears to be separate from Trump's many other problems. But while they were there and serving that subpoena, if they saw anything related to mm -hmm. his involvement in the overturn of the election, they were the, they could take that. So we don't know. And we, what Trump should do is turn over and open up the uh, the warrant and let us all see what they wanted. Uh, it would be great to see what they wanted. I'm sure that the Justice Department, they want to wait until they get to keep on the investigation. Before I let you go, just an observation. It's hard for me to believe. I don't know what they call it, irony or what. We were having this conversation 48 years to the day uh, of Richard Nixon uh, leaving the White House. 48 years ago in this hour, uh, Gerald Ford being sworn in as President of the United States. Uh, what goes through your mind? Well, who would have thought that we'd have a president that is more troublesome than Richard Nixon? I never dreamed that someone would make him look like a choir boy, but here we are. And we felt he, he, uh, he looks awfully good today.